Griffin family, Ozzie, Harriet, David, and Ricky. Here is Ozzie, who plays the part of Ozzie Nelson. And of course, his lovely wife, Harriet, as Harriet Nelson. The older of the Nelson boys, David, appears as David Nelson. And his younger brother, Ricky, played by Ricky Nelson. What'd you say the cake was, Oz? Didn't hear Mr. Randolph. Oh, hi, fellas. Hi, Mr. Hi. Arno. There's just one piece left. You better grab it before Pop gets it. Oh, you're not kidding. Thanks, Rick. What are you guys doing in the house on a beautiful day like this? Well, we're pitching in to help a worthy cause. Oh, in other words, your mother trapped you before you could get out. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, what is this stuff, anyway? Uh, there are announcements that have to be mailed for the women's club. Oh, I'm surprised you guys getting hooked like this. While you're still laughing, Oz, you better take a look at this. What is it? I hope you're in the mood for tripping the light fantastic. The women's club is giving another dance. You're kidding. What was that you said about getting hooked, Pop? Yeah, we'll be finished here in no time, but you'll be dancing all night. To the Latin rhythms of Armando Alvarado and his orchestra. Armando Alvarado? Well, that's not fair. I can't do those rumbas and tangos. Well, I can fake my way through a, a rumba or a tango, but nowadays they play all those cha-cha-chas and all that fancy stuff. Well, maybe we can get out of it some way. Well, that's the last one. I'll toss you to see who takes them to the mailbox. Hey, hey wait a second. Uh, are you guys supposed to mail these too? Yeah. Say, why don't we do the boys a favor and dump these in the mailbox for them? That's a oh, wonderful idea. We we'll Sorry, take off the mail. Must go through. Neither rain nor yes, sleep. Yes, we can't go out that night. We're busy. Oh, that, 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 that's right. Uh, uh, what are we doing? What night is it? Uh, it's a week from Saturday. Oh, well, we're bowling that night. Oh, <laughs> We're bowling that night. Since when do you bowl on Saturday nights? Well, this is an emergency day. Come on, David. Let's get out of here before we get involved in a conspiracy. We'll see you later. See you later, Pop. Yeah, okay, Bye. fellas. Well, the boys are no help. Do you think there's any chance of our talking the girls out of this? Well, what do you think? No, I, I guess not. Well, why pussyfoot around? Why don't we just tell the girls we don't want to go? And that's that. <laughs> well, you sure make it sound easy enough. Well, what's so difficult about it? Well, if it's so easy, suppose you tell them. Tell who what? <laughs> How are you going to tell us? Oh, nothing much. Oh, say, so the boys got the announcements mailed out? Uh, yes, yes, they did. Unfortunately. What do you mean, unfortunately? Uh, well, uh, as long as you've brought up the subject, uh, uh, Joe has something he, he wants to tell you. Me? You're the one who doesn't want to go. Go where? <laughs> Well, as I say, as long as you've brought up the subject, and I know, I, I know how much you girls are counting on it, and how much trouble you've gone to, but uh, Joe and I just aren't too enthused about that dance at the women's club. Yeah. Well, it's all right. You don't have to go. Well, Harry, all those cha-cha-chas and rumbas and tango. But you don't have to go. <laughs> we don't? That's what I just said. Oz, uh -huh, we don't have to go. Oh, well, uh, why not? Who cares? <laughs> Committee, and we'll probably be so busy we won't have time for much dancing anyway. Of course, if you want to come. Oh, no, no, that's okay. We would appreciate it if you'd drop us off and pick us up later. Oh, oh, sure. And you mean we really don't have to stay for the dance? No, of course not. As a matter of fact, I was just telling Clara that you don't seem to care much about dancing lately. Oh, well, it is not exactly. How about that, Oz? Looks like we're off the hook. Yeah. Well, you don't have to look so delighted about it. Well, it's just that we appreciate your kind offer, and we accept. <laughs> Come on, Clara. Yeah. How about that, Oz? Uh, great, huh? Sure is. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Too good to be true. Well, let's not bring the subject up again. They may change their minds. Uh, no, I, I don't think they will. See, all we have to do is drop them off at the dance and then do whatever we want for the rest of the evening. Yeah, we'll go to a show. Might even go bowling. Yeah, that's an idea. Uh, I don't know, though. The, the alleys get pretty crowded on Saturday nights. Well, I better get going. Yeah. I think the girls went upstairs. Oh, Clara, come on, let's go. Honey. Honey. Well, the girls have been pretty nice to us today, letting us out of the dance. Uh, yeah, that's for sure. Oz, uh, why do you suppose they want to get rid of us? They get rid of us, they're doing us a favor. Or doing themselves a favor. Well, how do you figure that? Well, they got that guy Avocado playing for them. And uh, uh, Alvarado. Well, anyway, they probably figure we can't do that kind of stuff. 
Harriet doesn't want to be embarrassed with you stepping all over her toes. Me? Well, you admitted you weren't too good at that Latin stuff. Well, you're not exactly twinkle toes yourself, you know. Okay, but the point is they have no right refusing to dance with us just because we're a little rusty. Yeah, see what you mean. Look, here's an idea. Why don't we brush up on this Latin stuff, go to the dance, and surprise them. We'll show them a thing or two. Hey, that's an idea. Uh, I think Rick has a book upstairs that shows how to do the cha-cha-cha, the, the, the tango, all those Latin dances. Well, why don't we take a look at it? Well, what are you two guys cooking up? Uh, we've got a little surprise for you girls. What is it? We're going to the dance with you, whether you like it or not. <laughs> You got the book, huh? Yeah. Oh, this looks pretty complicated. No, you just follow the diagrams. Uh, uh, put the book down, I'll show you. See, it's one, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. Forward, two, cha-cha-cha. Back, two, cha-cha. Watch. Very good, Art. Variation. <laughs> Good, huh? Yeah, yeah, even if we don't learn anything, we still might bring rain. <laughs> yeah, uh, you try it so I can get some laughs. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, you look like you're doing a, a time step. No, it's one, two, cha, cha, cha. One, two, cha, cha, cha. Try it. Forward, cha, no, no, no. Forward, two, cha, cha, cha. Back, two, cha, cha, cha. Forward, two, cha, cha, cha. Back, two, cha, cha, cha. I'm supposed to go forward, you're supposed to go backward. You're the woman. I don't want to be the woman. I learn everything backwards. <laughs> Will you try this, Joe? Well, all right. Claire always leads anyway. <laughs> The best hippo hop goes to couple number three. Well, thank you very much. Uh, for your information, though, that was the cha-cha-cha. No kidding. It certainly has changed since my day. <laughs> What's going on here, anyway? Uh, well, we're just going to surprise your mother and Mrs. Randolph and learn the cha-cha-cha for the women's club dance. Your dad brought this down. Oh, gee. It's going to be kind of tough learning it from a book, isn't it? You know, Oz, I think he's got something there. Well, he's got to learn it someplace. And you know, not only the cha-cha-cha, but the rumba and the samba and all the rest of the Latin dances. Well, why don't you go down and take some lessons? Oh, uh, I, I wouldn't want to get involved to that extent. Well, it's just a suggestion. They have some real good dance studios downtown, you know. Uh, yeah, well, I, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> Come on, Rick, let's get out of here. I don't think I can take another course of this. <laughs> uh, fellas, uh, uh, don't tell your mother about this, huh? Oh, don't worry. I wouldn't know how to explain it to her anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well... Should we take another try at it? Well, if you insist. But I can't stay too long. Clara thinks I'm upstairs taking a bath. <clears throat> you think we ought to tell the girls? Well, yeah, I think we'd better. Yeah, I guess so. Gentlemen, Mr. Nelson, Mr. Randolph, I'd like you to meet Mr. Phillips and Mr. Evans. Oh, how do you do? How are you? These young ladies will be your dance instructors. Oh, say that, that that's wonderful. 
Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow night, then? Oh, yes, that's fine. That, I'll be fine. It's very nice meeting you. Uh, thank you. It's nice to meet you. Uh, I'll be right back. You know, I've, I've been thinking, maybe we ought to just surprise the wives and not tell them about the lessons. <laughs> I think you're right. It'd be more fun that way. Yeah, and a lot safer, too. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Well, I must admit we were practicing in my garage last night. Oh, well, good for you. <laughs> yeah, we were learning it from a book, but I'm learning a lot faster tonight. <laughs> Shall we try it together now? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, no, no, I meant boy and girl. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I like this much better. He always steps on my feet. Uh, uh, careful of your shins, Miss Phillips. <laughs> Get too fancy, just stop me. <laughs> Wait a second, aren't you going to go for your spare? You got two pins left. I rolled a ball. I can say I've been bowling. Come on, let's go. I haven't bowled yet. I'll circulate around and say hello to a few people. Okay. Oh, yeah. Harriet, I'm home. Okay, I'm in the kitchen. Fine, thanks. I've got some coffee out in the kitchen. You want some? Uh, yeah, sounds good. Cha -cha -cha. Hot chocolate? <laughs> oh, okay. Hot, 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 great pleasure, gentlemen, to present you with these diplomas which signify you have successfully completed your course of instructions. Mr. Randolph. Uh, no, this is Mr. Randolph. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mr. Nelson. Uh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, it's just beautifully, especially <laughs> considering you've been taking lessons such a short while. Oh, thank you very much. It's really a shame you can't continue with them. Well, uh, we may one of these days. Who knows? Well, perhaps you might like to join one of our regular weekly groups. It's more economical that way. Uh, well, we'll think about it. I'm sure you'd have a good time. We have some marvelous parties. Oh, I bet you do. Well, Oz, we'd better get going. Uh, yes, I'm afraid so. If you should change your mind, just let us know. Oh, well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye, Dad. Bye. Uh, fellas, how's this tie look? Oh, looks fine, Pop. Yeah, looks good, Pop. Wish I had one with a little more of a Latin flavor to it. 
Well, you know, for a guy who got trapped into going to this dance tonight, you're in a pretty happy mood. Well, uh, uh, don't say anything, but I've got a little surprise for your mother. Uh, Mr. Randolph and I have been taking dancing lessons. The cha-cha-cha, the rumba, the tango, the whole thing. You mean out of the book? No, with real live girls at a dance studio. You're kidding. No, we decided to take your suggestion and we signed up for a short course. Oh, wait a minute. It wasn't my suggestion. Well, the, the uh, Ricky's. Oh, it wasn't mine. If it was, I was only kidding. Well, there's nothing to get excited about anyway. Well, uh, let's put it this way, Pop. Uh, why don't you take all the credit? <laughs> what, what do you mean, credit? Oh, for signing up for the course and dancing all week with some beautiful blonde bombshell. <laughs> Ridiculous, David. It's all very impersonal. These girls are professional instructors. They're like airline stewardesses or registered nurses. Okay, Pop, you convinced me. Now all you have to do is convince Mom and yourself. In the first place, your mother will be so happy with the way I dance, she won't even think about anything like that. Ozzy and the Randolph are here. Let's go. Uh, okay. Well, good luck, Pop. <laughs> Thanks, David. Yeah, good luck, old man. <laughs> You know, I was just wondering, do you think we should have told them about the lessons and not let them think we were out bowling every night? Well, I don't know, but it's a little late to be thinking about that now, isn't it? Well, look, uh, uh, let's just not tell them. I wouldn't want them to get the wrong idea. Well, they'll find out as soon as we start to dance. Well, let's stall around them. It gives a chance to think this over. Hey, come on, fella. Yeah, come on, we've been waiting for you. Come on, I. But aren't you guys going to ask us to dance? Let's uh, wait and see if they play something a little slower. Somehow I got the impression that you fellas have come here to dance. Well, we'll, we'll dance in a little while. Uh, don't you think it's fun to listen to the music? Hi, Oz. Oh, oh, hi, Oz. Can you join us? No, thank you. But may I have this dance with Harry? Oh, I'd love to. That solves our problem for the moment. What what kind of a dance is he doing? Playing a tango, aren't they? Well, yeah, but he's got the wrong beat. I thought he was supposed to be such a good dancer. Well, that's what I've always heard. You were doing better than that for the second lesson. Well, so are you. Got it, Oz. We took all those lessons. Here we are sitting around while two other guys are dancing with our wives. It's, and we can dance better than they can. Look at that. Harry even has to teach you one of the steps. Try dancing with Clara. He's out of time with the music. Stepping all over her feet. She's lucky if he doesn't knock her down. I think I've got the answer. Oh, it's too early to leave. No, 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 no. We'll let Harriet and Clara teach us to dance. And we'll learn very quickly. I think you've got something there. Well, of course I have. You know, Oz, if you'd thought of this last week, it would have been a lot cheaper. <laughs> and a lot safer. <laughs> One, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. And one, two, cha-cha-cha. Hey, that's fine. Come on, let's go and try it. How's Joe doing? Oh, just wonderful. You're a regular Jose Greco. Lucho Gracas. <laughs> Good teacher. I must say, you fellas learned awfully fast. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. You might as well confess. We know you've been taking lessons. You do? Well, you do? And I do, too. Well, are you mad at me? Well, of course not. It's very flattering to think you'd go to all that trouble. Well, well gee, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I can't believe it. You know, Joe, we're a couple of lucky guys. 
We have the most wonderful understanding wives in the whole world. You mean it doesn't bother you at all that we were out dancing with those girls every night? What girls? Yeah, what girls? <laughs> the girls at the dance studio. You said you knew we were taking dancing lessons. We found the book in the garage. We thought you were learning from that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, uh, shall we dance, dear? No, no, now just a minute. You mean you were at a dance studio every night? Well, uh, uh, yes. Well, come on, let's dance. Well, hold on, just a minute. No, 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 no. we did it for you girls. Of course we did. We wanted to surprise you. Yeah, what do you think, Harriet? Well, apparently they were paying attention to the lessons. They're pretty good dancers. Yeah, and didn't they just say we were the most wonderful, understanding wives in the whole world? Uh, that's right. I, I said it, and Joe agreed to it. I was going to say it myself, but he beat me to it. Yeah, it was a little corny, but I think they meant it. Oh, of course we did. Well, you know we did. <laughs> Maybe we'd better hang on to them. I haven't seen anybody else here tonight who can dance as well as they can. <laughs> well, thank you, dear. Uh, uh, shall we dance? Hey, What's that music? Oh, uh, you know, that's sort of a rock and roll thing that they're playing. They probably just wanted to change the pace. Come on. <laughs> what do you mean, come on? I can't dance to that kind of music. Me either. You know, I guess what we need is some more lessons. Well, I know the two best teachers in town. They're lovely girls, too. Then, then what do you say we sign up for some lessons? Sure, why not? Uh, that is, if you girls aren't too busy to teach us. Well, <laughs>